duty of pathogenesis of diabetic dyslipidemia. So you have insulin, patients with diabetes have insulin resistance. The normal action of insulin is to prevent lipolysis and because of insulin resistance you have lipolysis, there is an increased free fatty acid flux to the liver. From the liver because of the increased free fatty acid flux you have an increased VLDL formation which consists of increased triglycerides, ApoB and you also have a decreased lipoprotein lipase because this is activated by the insulin and hence the triglyceride metabolism does not happen when you have insulin resistance. So what happens with an increased VLDL output from the liver is there is an exchange which happens via the cholesterol ester transfer protein to the HDL. So you find that the triglycerides from the VLDL goes to the HDL and the cholesterol esters from the HDL go to the VLDL. So as a result of which the hepatic lipase gets activated. So when you have an increased activation of the hepatic lipase, the ApoA1 component of the HDL gets dislodged and they get excreted via the kidneys. And this is the reason you find in patients with diabetic that you have an increased triglycerides and a decreased HDL.